I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about improper integrals. In problem number 35, we'd like to evaluate the integral from 0 to 8 of dx over the cube root of x. All right, uh, so if we want to evaluate this integral, um, the first thing we have to recognize is that it is in fact an improper integral. It's not as easy to see this type of improper integral as it is when there's just like an infinity or a negative infinity hanging out. But what we see is if I did plug in zero here, this guy uh, would become a zero on the bottom, there'd be division by zero, and that's no good. So this is improper at zero. So what we need to do is we still need to write this guy as a limit, but it's going to be a little bit different. So let's write it. So I'm going to take this guy, this is the limit, as a goes to zero, and what side is it coming from? It's coming from the right side. So I'm taking the limit as a goes to zero from the right of the integral from a to eight of dx over the cube root of x. Okay, so um, now that we've got this uh, written as a limit, we're ready to take an antiderivative. What is the antiderivative? This is x to the negative one-third. The antiderivative of x to the negative one-third is x to the two-thirds times three-halves. So let's write that. This is the limit as a goes to zero from the right of this is x to the negative one-third and the antiderivative of x to the negative one-third is x to the two-thirds times three over two evaluated from a to eight. Now we can plug things in. I still have a limit as a goes to zero from the right of, we plug in eight and what do we get? We get eight to the two-thirds. Well that says take eight and cube root it, which is two, then square it, which is four. So I have three halves times four. Then I need to plug in the a minus three halves times a to the two-thirds. Now I'm ready to take the limit as a goes to zero from the right. As a goes to zero from the right, zero to the two-thirds, that's all just zero. So what are we left with here? We're just left with three halves times four. And three halves times four, I can cancel a two with a four and get a two, and I'm left with six. So we were able to evaluate this improper integral, and the answer is six.